Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. This is episode 2 of building a F35. This is the top lift van door. This is one of the 19 doors which are needed to convert the F35 into a vertical takeoff airplane. Um, these doors are really complex and uh, the reason why I make this hover test frame uh, robust I had to cut 19 holes into the fuselage and this will this is not good for keeping it strong and stiff so that's the reason why I use carbon fiber tubes to make a strong skeleton all these parts are printed out of lightweight filament and if you saw my last week's uh, video, uh, there are still some bugs in this uh, design. Uh, for example, the lift fan uh, engine has to be changed with new uh, spars to uh, get to give or to create more space to uh, add the mechatronics to open and close the top door and the two lower fan doors. So this is a lot of work and. Um, yeah, we have to proceed this. So for the guys who are new to our channel, my name is Joel, and we're going to try to make a full transition for vertical takeoff capabilities airplane, one to 10 scale in 10 episodes. Okay, let's go to work. Okay guys, if you saw last week's video on Instagram, I've managed to create these two lower doors. Uh, these doors are really challenging because uh, when you take a look horizontally, these are angled, these doors. And when they closed, they have to go flattened. Open and close. So what I have to do, um, I have to replace these two um, units to keep the engine in place and to create more space for the top lift vent door. As you can see, yeah, this has to be cut away. So this is my new design. Um, I made also a new bulkhead for attaching the main gear wheels. So I have to remove this bulkhead and replace it with a new one. So let's go to work. Okay guys, the front ribs are changed. It fits all very nicely together. And now it's time to replace the main bulkhead with this one. The big difference is uh, that I added and printed the angle for the frog landing gears. Okay, let's go.
Okay, it's installed. It's really easy, that's the big reason why I don't glue these parts because this is already uh, version number three of this main bulkhead. Um, so updates are still rolling in. Um, the reason why I make this part separate, you can take this out, because I still don't know if I go for an open ducting or a closed ducting. But this should be enough air to breathe for the 90mm motor. Okay, let's proceed assembling. Okay guys, now we created uh, the space what we needed. Uh, for next week's video, I'm going to think about how to open and close this door. If you have any idea of suggestions, maybe we can use electron uh, linear motors. But uh, we will see what we can uh, find. Um, the doors are quite nice attached and it looks already Amazing. Okay, not but least, we're going to start the main landing gears. And this will be a hard part. Therefore, I already prepared this main gear leg. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a short uh, preview for next week's video. Um, those main gears are really complex because they have to fold in during... They need some loop again. But as you can see, this is scale and it really fits nicely. Um, I will uh, upgrade this, uh, this part next week. And this part, this drag brace, is printed out of steel. So it won't work. But it started to look really like a cool after the five. Okay, let's open those doors. Check out. Wow. Now it really looks like an F35. Amazing. Okay, this is it for this week's video. I really enjoyed building this airplane. Um, it's starting to look really, really cool. So if you like this build, just give me a big thumbs up. Um, yeah, that's it for this week's video. And I will see you guys next week again. Okay, bye-bye.